haven't been able to get out of bed for the last three days. I've spent them watching the torch northern skies with my bloodshot eyes and daydreaming of your face. And often I drown in these whirlpool visions of your next girl hooked on your arm like a fish as my hope sinks in cataclysm because she has the only thing that I cherish. And you've planted a tree where my bones were born to be. And your name is etched between the parched veins of the leaves that foster a blossoming scaling five foot three. Each sulfurous South London sunrise, I raise my leafy arms to pray for you to come home. Because without you, I am chastised driftwood, neglected thicket, an unbaptized bone, and there are parts of me still residing in the memories of when I'd curl around your body like a question mark because I thought you were the answer. You'd say, hold me until the sun shakes. Make love to me until the moon quakes in envy because the brightest light would have his ruby heart pressed upon mine. But the greatest light cast upon silvered pine forms the greatest shade upon the line where soil meets sky. And there's a place near the earth's core where it's still warm. Where well, I am the ashen cloud beneath your eyes. I am the thread of hair gingerly weaved into your poem-stained pillows. I am the chapped hands that clap for you the loudest, hold you the tightest, and stroke your skin the lighter. So I would like to think that I am more than flesh and bone. And this one time, I bit my lip. And I bit my lip so hard, I bled out all the words I never got to say to you. I bled out to become the amethyst bruise on your collarbone the tousled right sleeve of your best shirt. Train track Thursdays in the best and worst ways. The meteor dent in your duvet, the lonely corner table in the cafe, the gleaming heart you overlooked, the drunken stanza in your notebook and the poem you never finished. You carved your verses into me when your fingertips danced in circles above my limbs and across my skin and I hate the way you kissed yourself into me through my scars and these days I tear myself open just to check you haven't stolen my heart. Mm -hmm. But the caves of my lungs are brimming with long distance love letters from a man who claimed it was a work of art, his work of art. And now that I think about it, you speak your poems in the rhythm that we and I am for every heartstring that you plucked. A honey cloyed verse for every deceitful caress to make our sex in your poems fast and meaningless. So, I stare skywards at the heavy drunken moon as you tell me we were just large white wines and weather spoons. Snarl top lips and bites on hips. Bedtime rhymes and night bus crimes. Riverside fumbles and lusty mumbles. We were just champagne and cum stains. But... I told you I could love you and how it didn't matter if I wasn't the best in the world as long as I was the best in your world and I tried to kill the worst of me to be the best for you but you glared at me with your sullen beer tinged eyes and I realized there is nothing I can do to make you happy so I thought of you as a book I read but never bought and I put you in a love poem I put you in a love poem. I put you in a love poem. And now you're just words and nothing more. Mm. Thank you. Mm.